So this is the fourth video in my mini tab series. Now I cut short the last video partly because it was getting very long. In the last video what I was doing was I was looking at this categorical variable here okay and it is essentially category, categories of uh, pet, cats and dogs and so on. Okay. So just actually something to remark upon here. If I was just to sort of uh, change, you see we have C1T, C2T. This is essentially because it is text. If I, no, C3, column 3 is age. And if I was to change this to uh, 9 to Y, look what happens. Okay, it's not numeric value. Okay. So let's go back there. Okay, now, but this one seems to be okay. So let's just sort of uh, put in another one here, gender. Okay, so male. Okay, I'm going to hit return now. There we go. See, what has happened here is T, a mini tab picks up on the fact that uh, if it's a, a variable is numeric or <clears throat> and qualitative or quantitative, and if it's, it's sort of the text, it sort of indicates which variables are uh, qualitative, uh, nominal or categorical or whatever, by having the C2 hyphen T, that T there. Now, I'm just going to sort of see, can I get rid of uh, delete cells, just get rid of the lot there. So I just went, I just clicked on delete cells, just get rid of that. I'm not going to use it, it's just another variable, another categorical variable. I'll, I'll come back to it later on. Now, what I'm going to do here is go back to bar charts, or ch charts, categorical charts. So I'm going to go to graph up the top. Now, in the last presentation, we looked at bar charts. So what I'm going to do here is quickly look at pie charts. Okay. So I'm going to sort of uh, chart count of unique values. Okay. And I'm just going to sort of select down here. I had it already occupied, uh, um, something already in there. So I just cleaned it, cleared it out there. I'm going to select type. Okay. And then this button down here comes up, select that. And I'm just going to press OK there, and I'll come back to this now in a second. Essentially what we get here is a little pie chart. So, a pie chart of type, as in what type of animal it is. So it's roughly speaking a sort of a proportion of how many animals in each category. Now if you high click on it there, pie chart slice, the blue one, pie chart slice, category equals cat, value equals 40%. Let's go to the green one here, category equals hen, value equals 6.7%. That's great, so that's a little pie chart. Now, first thing I'm going to do actually is just sort of see, can we actually save this? Now, just actually what I'm going to do here, interesting, and interesting is, uh, what I'm interested in is, can we copy the graph? And what I'm interested in there in doing is seeing can I copy this graph and copy and paste it into a Word document for a report. So just I meant to do that for bar charts, but there were, we could do for um, uh, pie charts just as easily and so on. So we can also send, send the graph to Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint and so on. Okay, now I'm going to just go close that down and I'm just going to sort of go back over it again. So we'll just shut that down. No, we, we can save the pie chart mini graph, uh, the, the mini tab graph uh, as well. I'm not going to get into that. So just close that down. So let's go that over this again. <clears throat> so pie charts, okay. Now I have all my options set up here from before. So what I could do here is go in increasing volume or decreasing volume, the start angle, and so on. So if there's loads of slices that are really small, you can also get rid of them. So it's example, exa for example, not point not two or as if they're less than 2%, you just combine them into one big supergroup, other, okay? Okay, and um, let's try that with increasing volume. Now, this doesn't apply to us because our smallest category has 6.7%, so we're not going to, that's not really useful for us. Let's try out the um, start angle at 180, just to sort of see what, what, what happens there. Now, labels, just put in a label, pie chart, for pets. Okay, there's a couple, you can try out a few of the other ones there as well, see how that goes, but I'll just sort of stick that one in here. Um, 
multiple graphs we can come back to that another time and data options yeah we can come back to that another time so let's just click OK there and see what we get it probably be very similar to the last one here so it just actually starts 180 I think it goes anti-clockwise and so on so the first one here is cat then dog then pony hen and hamster and so on okay so that is quickly how we do pie charts now there's just a question in uh, are pie charts any good uh, for representing data that's a different uh, story a lot of statisticians don't like pie charts but that's not what we're here to do we're not to discuss the rights and wrongs of pie charts we're here to sort of say how do you do a pie chart in mini tab so no okay one last thing I'm gonna just see if I can do this now, I didn't mean to do this uh, data options labels I just sort of see can you put in percentages so can you can you overlay percentages yeah so frequency and percentages so it's in slice labels category name slice labels uh, so I meant I should have done that the first time so labels and put in just go to the second tab there slice labels I'm just for my mind escaped me there click OK on that there we have the <clears throat> all the various different groups here it just gives the cat the six cats that corresponds to 40 percent so um, yeah that's it